We're just playing a longer game. 45 minutes, 5 seconds. Took ages to get a seek and this player's jumped on. So we'll see what's happening. Okay. Let's push through onto this pawn here. Capture, let's capture back. So it's all pretty normal at the minute, in part of the opening. So the logical side of my brain is going, okay, it's pretty safe, it's pretty steady away. My creative brain is going, oh, well, you know, the opponent could bring the queen out and start attacking on your king side area, and you've not developed on this side, and creating all havoc. Oh, and they've brought the bishop here, so what we normally want to do is take. So we would normally take the knight. Obviously, then, they take here. Oops, excuse me. They take here. But before they do that, they're probably bringing the queen to attack or maybe here but this pawn is actually defending this area so the bishop doesn't have the diagonal through with any support from the queen so the logical brain is taking over the creative panic and saying right no you don't need to worry about that but the queen can still come out here anyway to attack the knight but it'll be too late to the party. So let's grab. So it's just an even exchange and simple exchange. So basically we can bring the bishop out. Nice and steady development. Don't think there's any fear at the minute. Once this pawn drops then the bishop potentially coming here. But let's put our attack in first onto this weak pawn develops the knight and I'm really not wanting to rush in castle but maybe we should always constantly feeling you know because the pieces aren't protecting the king that going running castling leaving your king home alone is it safe let's just castle and look to bring our pieces over towards our king side to protect our king we can get all well, is attacking the bishop can get all arty and fancy about attacking certain pieces etc the opponents decided not to castle they've decided to attack open up the white square bishop like we said try and get it out here attacking our queen so we're going to bring the bishop back now stopping that potential attack area so they're moving quick now like they've got things sewn up they've got castle they're feeling safe They've got double pawns, so maybe they're panicking about the double pawns. This pawn doesn't have any protection. So bringing our knight out, potentially attacking their bishop. But is it a good position for it? That's the thing. Could push here, he pushes down, we take, his bishop takes. That don't look good. So the best potential valued move. We've got this got this got this pawn got the knight which I don't really like the look of that really but it might have to happen got this opening up the queen a little bit to potentially come and attack the pawn here but he simply defends with the bishop hmm um, I don't think there's anything major happening a simple defense could bring the bishop here, it's just not doing anything meaty, is it? Right, we're going to go with this, we are actually going to bring it across here, but potentially bringing this bishop here as well. The knight won out for more potential, because it's, you know, so he's moved the bishop, which is good, so now they're going to be bringing this pawn down here. 
so we can change our trajectory they believe they have it sewn up because they're moving that fast so we need to be careful we can start pushing here could just develop like we said then this pawn is going to come under fire anything else queen queen could get activated actually simply just bringing the bishop off the back and now it's got diagonal here and it's got the diagonal there so it's multi-functioning at the moment it's not directly attacking anything but there's no point in forcing something because then you, you land you land in their net so to speak so taking it easy the opponent obviously knows what they're attempting to do and they've seen the attacks potentially that we were going to put in place by actually moving the bishop so they've got a kind of advanced thinking never not really relating to their rating so maybe we'll see something relating to their rating as we're going as we're going through but then again there could be a grandmaster and they don't even actually play on the site that often you know so you can't really go on people's ratings online <clears throat> and even over the board actually same thing can happen okay so they've gone into a deep think uh, they know about attacking as well so when they attacked with the pawn down here um, but again I think that move order was slightly out of kilter but are they able to work their pieces together to give devastating attacks that's the thing we've got to concern ourselves with they know this pawn's weak so they've got to be basically have a move it because that's why they move the bishop or support it with the bishop which is not really what they want to be doing but this pawn is going to be under attack obviously always for the b pawn and the queen is stuck in the back a little bit so it's need so there's things to think about but he's actually just gone attacking a single attack so we're going to take that off the board so it's not a piece he's working together at all it's not done any of the advanced thinking type thing there so um maybe i can rest easy we have to be mindful of this because the bishop is in front of the queen yep this is for any newbies that fall into this trap yeah so if I went going running to attack his bishops here you don't get my queen for free but if my queen wasn't supported you get this bang yep yeah? and they take and then that surprises people but my queen is protected so I could actually move my bishop what pieces again this one has got no defense on but we can't get to it so we could move our bishop just to attack the weak pawn in front of his king seeing as the queen is protected triply and maybe see if we can own this file but I think I'll be a bit late to the party because my bishops are blocking my queen yeah so he's going to be bringing his rook to the party here so he knows about targeting definitely doesn't he it's there oh yeah because of the bishop here maybe hmm? no 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 Doo -doo 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 -doo. that one sorry so going there to there so that's why he's moving so fast he's planning this um massive attack towards my king just by sliding up here so there's things to be done yep he's going for the answer process he's not really wanting to work his pieces together as he feels he doesn't have time to be messing about doing all the rook advances etc he's going for quick dynamic moves which are kind of easily defendable but uh, we shall see um, I'm thinking of pushing here 
I don't know if that's right though because it's on pass on. It's on pass on, bishop takes. Queen moves. Oh, that's easily defended, really. Queen, queen, queen. Could go for my own devastation if you like. Yeah, could go for my own devastation. Obviously, his queen is there, so he's already beaten me to the punch on that one. So we go there, then he goes here, looking like he's protecting there, but he's not really, he's attacking this square. We push up, defending. Then his bishop comes down, attacking our rook. So he's got a whole heap of combinations going on, potentially. I'm going to go with this. Hopefully free up space for the rook to get activated on the file. After all of that. Because at the minute it's just a single manoeuvre, which is the queen, but in combination with the bishops it's going to be quite devastating. So we'll try and block off that sort of psychology because they're going for the quick and dirty tactic, um, which is the answer, pro not the answer process, but the squeezing towards our king area. If we can block off those sort of attempts, then at least we're not caught, sort, caught short, caught short, <laughs> or surprised. So those are the two big areas. So he's moved his queen over to the other side of the board. So I'm breathing a sigh of relief because now obviously in a sense, they're not willing to continue this attack on our king area, which is the answer process. So have they lost the tempo now by actually doing that and not doing the on pass on? It's attacking our pawn here. So they've got a bit of cleverness about them. And I'm thinking if I bring my queen here, there's potential for his rook coming face in here and then I lose the protection. So I'm going to probably have to bring my queen up or attack with a lesser piece. At this moment in time, there's well, pretty even. Could go for the queen exchange. The evaluation is going to shout at me. It's going to say why. But I'm always going for it anyway. So let's go with the queen. It looks like they're not wanting complications after all. But I think we understand the ilk of the player now. Um, they like single attacks. They understand how to checkmate. But they look like they struggle working their pieces together. So I'm hoping that takes us through into the end game quite nicely if we can work our pieces together. He does take. Surprised. So we go here, he drops his pawn. We go here and we're opening up this pawn. And it's going to be a passer. I'm willing to take the chance of him dropping here. I'll just move the bishop back or attack his bishop, but then maybe not because then our pawn is left home alone. So we just bring it back here. Not over complicating the situation. So it's a simple defense the opponent's putting in place. And I'm quite pleased because I'm hoping their end game when really if you're working your pieces together a bit better even the slightest of bits um, that will help you through I'm hoping he keeps playing as he's playing or she because working their pieces together at this moment in time visually doesn't seem to be their bag okay so he's not attacking our bishop yet they're just waiting and he's just blocking off our bishop here and just put a little check on the king just to get my piece activated Obviously, this is still coming, and um, we can preempt that, or can look to try and. Own. I don't think there's any point of trying to own this file because the bishops are on there, so that might be a waste, might it? Do do 
do we could attempt to just push this trying to get to this point here before he drops the pawn but he'll drop the pawn before we get the second pawn off so I don't want to trap my bishop either though do I I could just bring it back mm -hmm. I'm definitely not doing that Oof, that's what they're waiting for um Rooks, 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 rooks. None of that, none of that. So could do, could do that, and then that. But he's going to have the pawns pushing down, and he's got his bishop. He's waiting to wake his bishop up. Anything definite? Yeah. Drops. Yeah. This bishop's just staying in the center forever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring the rook across here. So um, I don't think there's any point in owning a file. I think I fell foul of a game where I focused on my rooks owning the file, but the bishops were just there and there's nothing you can do. So I'm going to have to try and fashion opening up something somewhere else for the rooks. Okay, so he's um, defending at the moment. He's brought his rook there. Unless, of course, I'm falling for something. The bishop can take this pawn. Oh, yeah, because he can come back and then he can win this pawn. But then our bishop will take him. So I'm going to take this pawn. I don't know if that rook move was necessary by them, but hey, what do I know? I'm hoping that it wasn't necessary because they were protecting their pawn but it's only a pawn at the end of the day we need to keep working our pieces together I think he, no he might keep the file because he's worked hard to get to there so he'll come down and attack the bishop here he's not done that so maybe he's thinking he can take the pawn down the bottom so let's hope he does and then the ninja bishop can take him Maybe not, might just push here. We're waiting for this pawn to drop out with. So we'll just sit here. Yes, at last, Craggy. So then we bring the bishop here. Just trying to work the pieces together. Like I said, there's no point trying to own this file at all. So we could now start pushing this pawn here because we have like two pieces on there so if he does take the bishop can take x-ray and through to the bishop well x-ray and through to the rook so the bishop probably will take unless of course he brings his rook to defend to own the file so we're trying to kick something off but we're trying to use our experience of how to own files correctly with the rooks which is like the potential value of the moves you know that's what we're that's where we're at basically the potential value for the moves after all the logical thinking the creative thinking the, ooh, has he landed on anything is he protecting so always oh, attacking our bishop because it's got no protection on it interesting so if we did continue doing this 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 he's got his rook defending there so yeah nice touch if we touched onto his rook then he can take the pawn because it's got no defense on if we bring the bishop here attacking his rook his rook isn't necessarily going to go across here and it's not going to go there because it's going to get taken so i think a simple attack here which obviously blocks our attack of the pawn but it's a smaller piece attacking a higher piece usually can't be wrong it's not going to come across here because it'll just get taken 
So this is come back here, forgetting that the bishop is there. So fingers crossed, yeah. But if they go back up, then obviously if we come back here, we may just do draw moves. It's gone back up onto the dark square. And um, before I go and do that move, do we bring the bishop here maybe this time? And attack his pawn just to give them something to think about because I was just envisioning him coming back down again just to do the same stuff but we're potentially wanting to do this he's attacking our rook he's moving fast now like he's definitely got stuff sewn up so if we bring the rook here I really didn't want to own, try and own this file but his bishops come to the other side so that's one bishop out of the way it's just that this bishop is blocking everything so what is the point um, yeah, just bring it here anyway. You never know. So the rook's got no play in the defending this area. Unless, of course, he brings his other rook now to defend. This is where we're trying to champion this file. So, as I said at the beginning, I'm hoping he doesn't really know how to work his pieces together. Um, even in the defence he knew how to do focus on attacking the king area at the beginning but then the pieces weren't working together as well so then I, their queen seemed to lose track of where it was which is good for me so that's the way I'm seeing it anyway and um, we've got an attack another attack on a pawn but he can defend that one quite easily so that wins us the tempo to be able to attack here but then, yeah, so he's dropped there. So we're going to attack here. But does he then bring his rook here for the exchanges? If he brings his rook there, we take. Then his rook takes. Then the bishop takes. This bishop's going to be on our pawn here. Ooh. Suppose we bring this here, but then he's going to have the passer. Mmm, interesting times. Interesting times. It all depends how he plays it. Our plan is that he takes, and then we take, and then the bishop takes, and then the rook takes. That's our normal plan, you know, but he could circ... Whoa, he can circumvent with a rook bishop attack. Okay. I don't think there's a major panic there. We can just bring this rook up. Although I wanted to keep my rook on the back, but if we'll go here, he has to move it anyway, doesn't he? And plus we weren't interested in this file because this bishop's blocking there. Let's just bring the rook here and attack the bishop. Don't really want to bring it into the center of the board. It's gone to the other side of the board. Let's take this. Didn't really want to take. I wanted him taking us, but because now it's going to open up this pawn here if I go here because our rook is defending the pawn at the minute it's not really designed for that but we're going to have to avoid he's in a nice position there attacking oh he's moved <gasps> okay so this might be our opportunity to defend so then and he's not attacking here Wow, so we've escaped quite a few att attacks, or well, potential attacks, from the opponent. You know, potential high value movements that they had that could give us problems. As far as I can see, anyway. So now his bishops are now towards our king area. I'm just trying to fashion how they're going to cause devastation. Is it going to be the pawn moves that. Uh, invisibly ninja style mm. I do like the pace that the person's taking with the moves though um, the odd ones were done fairly quickly which looked like they were it, they had it all sewn up but other than that I, I like the pace at which they, they're going it's helping us to work out the psychology of the player because that's a key thing, the psychology of the play. It's okay looking at the moves and stuff, 
but try to work out the psychology of the player and we've done that right from the start and we've basically said well it, the, the, the simple thing was working the pieces together in this game and if they could they were fashioning those attacks towards the king area so they understood that answer process but then it kind of broke down because they then ended up be defending just from the smallest tempy moves we haven't won this game so I'm not talking like I've won but I'm looking more at uh, ooh, I'm looking more now at how we progress and how we've got to this stage here uh, based on the psychology of understanding what the opponent has done so they're doubly attacking the pawn yeah so the rook and the bishop are attacking the pawn so that that's quite nice but behind my pawn is also my bishop so if I decided to move then I'm going to lose out there I can't put my rook here because obviously his rook can take I can't so basically he's won the pawn back although we're two plus two so my immediate brain goes well what can I attack what can I attack I can attack his rook but his rook then takes the pawn is there any pins or anything like that our rook is facing off this pawn here so in essence we could move the rook up because there's a potential back rank mate thing going on so if we move here the bishop is going to take so he can have the pawn will take then his rook will take yep so his rook is going to be on our bishop our rook is going to be up here our rook can't come here to defend the bishop because his bishop is there so we would need to move our bishop to somewhere like here attacking this pawn his rook is there hmm seems like a mad plan to me I mean it's also going to be on this pawn but the bishop is the one that is targeting we could move the bishop already his rook is defending this area so if we move the bishop their bishop takes we take his rook takes we move our rook up that's where it gets a bit murky isn't it <laughs> maybe we don't do that maybe we don't do that what about bishop attacking here but then his rook takes and it's defending but then we come here with a two on one maybe his rook comes and defends mm, no yeah okay so we're here I think the rook will take because it's going to be on the bishop rook takes bishop here because it's touching onto this do, 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 do. bishop here rook takes bishop jumps here maybe the rook comes back again and attacks the bishop I don't really think they'll do that because we'll just go backwards and forwards. <laughs> Putting a lot of thought into this one. Okay. God, it's got to be right. It's got to be right. We do, after all, have to have. We, we have that as well, but that might not help us. King takes his agenda. Yeah, something to think about, though, isn't it? 
So I'll give him the pawn back, but then he's got this pawn here as well. Right, so if we defend the bishop with this pawn, let's keep that tidy. Bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes, yeah, okay, after all that. Yep, simple. That's got more product, more potential value. It's supporting the bishop because the main thing is is seen behind there and attacking. We're plus two, don't want to be greedy. Let him have the pawn. Yeah, so bishop takes, we take back. His rook takes, his rook's feeling very happy. Then we start coming up around the back. Oh! <sighs> well, I'm not sure that that was... I'm going to go here, even though we've blocked our bishop protecting and um, they've quickly gone on greedy munched, but it's I don't believe that's the best position for the rook. So that's why I've just gone um and narrowing because now um the rook maybe comes and defends or something. Um, yeah, okay. Because then it gives us space to come here. I suppose his rook can come back and defend but there's discovered bishop stuff going on. So it's looking at pr pretty heavy, I think. I'm hoping I'm right. It just feels right. It just feels, yeah, that, that was like a, probably a major blunder. But we'll see what the evaluation bar says. Probably says I'm actually losing. Okay, so they brought the bishop protecting. So we could uh, dear. We'll put a two on one here, and his rook comes and defends. Okay, before we move, put yeah, yeah, yeah. put a two on one with the bishop. If the rook came and defended, then the bishop would be able to take, and then his bishop takes back, and then his bishop's on our pawn here. But we've won up the exchange. So that feels okay. So we'll just bring this and put a two on one on this pawn. So we're not rushing anything, we're just trying to find the appropriate position. Again, this is. And I'm probably going to fall foul of. <laughs> A situation here but the definite working of the pieces together seems to be very paramount in this um, picture again he's done a single rook attack on a pawn um, and it doesn't look like it's improved their position but it's allowed us to improve our position so he's actually moved the pawn down so I mean we can go here with a check on his king and take his um, rook off but he'll win the bishop so we could go here, or we could delay that and just bring the bishop here first, but then does he defend? Do we lose out? I mean, this pawn actually hasn't got any protection on it. And there's nothing else attacking our rook. So we could actually just take with the bishop. So I'm going to take with the bishop with the idea of potentially coming here. So he's attacking our rook now, he's moved there very fast. Our rook can't come here because the bishop is on there. And we could go here, but then we'd, we need that moment to then take the rook once the check is on. So there might be method in his madness. If we move here, what's he got? Maybe the rook coming and attacking or something, but it's given us the open file for the rook as well. Okay, I'm just thinking, is there anything attacking here? Maybe the bishop comes here, but then the pawn can take. So I'm not sure yet. They've given us all this space to attack their king area. Um, he's blocked in his own rook now with his bishop, so his rook doesn't have any play apart from hitting here. If this bishop was supporting it, then that... I've put it in the place where I said I wasn't supposed to put it. <laughs> Dear me. Oh my gosh. 
the exact place I said I wasn't supposed to put it. Ah, what is the world coming to? <laughs> you gotta laugh at it. All right, so is there a finish here then? Um, there's not necessarily. It's a bit of a dance type thing that's potentially going on. So his king is going to escape a little bit, which is a bit annoying because we put all this work in. We put the check here, he disappears around here. Or we take this pawn with the rook with a check. Take this pawn with the rook with a check, and he takes our bishop because the rook's gone. And we're running out of material fast. <laughs> uh, let's push this. We're running out of material. <coughs> it might be method in its madness. But I'm glad he's not working the team together at the minute. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. He's coming for the pawn here, putting a check on our king. Uh, we've got a serious, serious issue going on here. Maybe a move order I'd done wrong or something. <laughs> Still got this pawn to take. So his bishop's now going to be defending all these areas. What's that? Uh, I don't have a dark square bishop anymore. <laughs> Is that a checkmate? No, it's not a checkmate. Looks like it's getting close to one though. Oh, can you believe I'm having to go backwards? Ooh, then he puts his rook up there and he's got a two on one. I don't think I'm gonna waste time <coughs> waste time doing that. Hmm, okay, good, good stuff, good stuff. Keep plodding away. We have the advantages, although he's got... How, how has he got more? <laughs> I put the rook... In, oh. I put the rook in a place where I said you're not supposed to put it. And the bishop took it. Ah, oh, dear me. Mm -mm. Oh, he's got a checkmate. He's got a checkmate. my king can't come out of the square oh you're joking not after all this hard work this is unbelievable oh you have got to be kidding me <laughs> you have got to be kidding me oh my life I'm gonna have to move this and he drops the pawn my king can't go anywhere oh I'm gonna have to push that and lose another pawn <gasps> Can you believe what I've just witnessed? And he's plus one now. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How could I let that happen? Right, focus.
I'm still hoping they don't know how to work their pieces together. I gave them a gift and I shouldn't have moved it there. I actually said it, verbalised it. Don't bring your rook here because the bishop will take. And then I ended up still <laughs> moving the rook there. Oh dear me. Shabby times. We had the clear advantage in everything. That just messed the game up. So I'm hoping now their end game is just like their beginning. Where teamwork is not really um, a thing. We are down a minor piece. But we have what's that word compensation with the pawns. And let's go here. So a single attack there. I'm happy with that. That's good. Keep that going. Let's see how we if we can. I don't think we will get these these pawns promoted because he's gonna have to take with the bishop, I suppose. So this has been a very interesting game. <laughs> one move, one wrong move cost you the game. <laughs> hmm. Probably think that oops. Probably think the rook is going to come across here to try and stop any of that action, or are they looking to just attack this pawn or something like that, so that they can get their pawn down because they've only got one pawn left to get promoted. Well, currently we've got four. into the tank on this one. <sighs> These are the kind of games though that do help improve your game. The ones that you don't like. You know, you've made a gross mistake and you want to fight back and you're saying, damn, that shouldn't have happened. But in your heart of hearts, you feel there's something in the game that's going to turn around for you. Based on what you understand of the player. If this player was at the beginning massively targeting and they were working their pieces together. And, you know, I would have resigned now. <laughs> because there wouldn't have been, wouldn't been any chance for me. Um, so I'm going here. must be some fancy tactics that I'm not seeing but I all I'm focused on is trying to either get rid of his bishop because his bishop is going to have to take and then it kind of like gives us a bit of an advantage pawn wise that's all I'm thinking but I think what they'll be thinking is attacking my rook just to unsettle me a little bit So it's single attacks at the minute. I'm surprised there wasn't there wasn't any attack here because um, I don't know what this is doing. Maybe it's because the bishop maybe is going here and then he's working his way around this way somehow. No, well not there, but well hopefully there. Yeah, he is. He is. That's what he's planning. Let's go. So does his rook go here just to defend the bishop? But if he does do that, the pawn gets promoted. And anyway, the bishop would take the rook. Or is it going all the way to the end so that it doesn't get promoted? Yeah, that's what he's doing, isn't it? Damn. Okay, cleverness. Cleverness. 
cleverness. Wow, super clever. So we go there, we go here. This bishop can just bounce back, or we could go here. Yeah, with the king, go there. Because then that pressures the rook, because then if the pawn gets pushed. Oh yeah, that might work, might it? Goes there, king comes up, ready to push. So then the bishop takes, king takes. Almost happy as Larry, what's the problem then? Rook can't come here to attack this pawn for a 2 on 1. It can come back down here for a 2 on 1. Uh, so that's what it's going to do, it's going to come back down there for a 2 on 1. Okay, so he's peeling off pawns. Okay, let's go. He's following the process so far. It's all single movements at the minute, single attacks, single... They did well capturing my rook because I misplaced it, so I've had to reframe my process now. So that was a bit shabby. But trying to block off what the opponent's attempting to do. Didn't see what that rook move was at first, and then we realised he's coming up here to support. Trying to stop this pawn from getting promoted. White square bishop can't really get involved. He's going to either lose the rook or the bishop. Fingers crossed. I don't think he's going to want to lose the rook, so I think the bishop's going to take. Then we take, and then we're up pawns. Whew! I'm going few. I mean, he might not do any of that. <laughs> So it does take, okay. Plus two, we're back on track. <sighs> right, I'm gonna get some water. out of me now okay still have to work just looking for his bishop coming here there's no point putting a check on maybe bring the king back supporting the support the bishop support the bishop for the potential push here I can see the rook coming and attacking the king don't want to get into a pin type thing where we lose our rook. It's coming attacking anyway. Quite like this file, but I'm protecting it. Well, I'm doubly protecting that pawn actually. I don't need to doubly protect it. Or do I? Or do I? Just come here. Bishop's got protection. Does this rook come? Let's do that for now. I'm on a dark square. That don't want to get a pin, that's all. So the idea is potentially running here. Obviously the rook is not going to be having any of that. So, do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. It's a thinker, it's a thinker.
Single attacks, exact spot. So the idea is we want to get this pawn up. I don't want my king blocking it. So if we came here and we attacked the rook, he can still come here because his king is there. Then if we come here, he can still attack the king. So we're going round in a circle. So I don't really want to go around in a circle. So is it the case that I'm going to have to come here? But then he attacks the bishop, so then I can't push. Yeah, I don't want to get into a drawn situation where he's going up and down, up and down. I don't think I'm ever getting this pawn pushed up now, I'm visualising it. Hmm. Come on. Up on a dark square, white square bishop's not got any play. He's probably trying to get rid of this pawn secretly. So it's up there. Drops down for the bishop. Well, maybe if we could get his rook off, let me see. So if we go here, he goes there. We go here, he comes down. We go here, attacking his rook. I don't think his rook's going to take, though, is he? Mm -hmm. His rook comes down, attacks the pawn. Bishop still protects him. Start pushing the pawn up. Okay, got to give that a go then. We're all on dark squares, apart from the white square bishop, obviously, and the pawns. Got to give that a go. <clears throat> this is a proper long play game, isn't it? With all the tricks and stuff going on. Oh dear me. Don't want to make another blunder. Especially a blunder where you, it wasn't a blunder in your mind because you made the correct calculation. But your, my physicality just then went, oh, just go here. I should. That's the whole reason behind me doing these exercises, is blocking off the transfer over here. So if we push the pawn. Before we do that, if we push the pawn, it's, it's going to be attacking all sorts, isn't it? Push the pawn, maybe he's looking to get rid of our bishop. We take, he takes, king. That's not too good for them, though, is it? But I suppose, in a way, if he gets to. I don't know. We push. His rook puts the check on. We come here, puts another check on. Rook comes here. I'm actually blocking my bishop from protecting this pawn. Just be mindful. His rook comes down. Oh, his rook comes down and. Ooh, I'd have to come all the way back down here. Bishops protect him. Now he's got a stronghold there. Bishops protect him. We push. Bishop takes, bishop takes. 
Hmm. <laughs> Push. See what transpires. Goes there. I can always go here, but it goes up again. That I don't want that chasing bit. It goes up again, bishop here blocking. Something like that. Comes down. We go up. Goes back up. In fact, the rook could still go there. Rook goes here. That might be better, you know. Slowly making the inroads up, aren't we? Surely. The pawns move one step up. King's moved up a bit defending. He's got these pawns to contend with on the bottom. Bishop looks like it's ready to sacrifice at any stage. Because it's not going to be happy with us getting this, so then it's going to be against these two pawns. <sighs> Does he get a 2 on 1? Bishop could come here for a 2 on 1 type thing attack the rook but the rook takes the pot well then we take back with the king attack the rook hmm He's probably going here with a check on the king. He's trying to win tempos on me. So if I go here, then he puts the check on the king. King moves behind the pawn. Still protecting the bishop. So we've got the king and this and there, so a push. Hmm. Push. Tax the king. I'm gonna push. Palms getting a bit further up each time. I don't think they're gonna to want to allow it either. Less pieces on the ball for me, the harder it is for me. And vice versa. It's these moments where I just think, dude, making the wrong move. Well, what magic are they coming out with? But he's not changed character throughout the game. The game has just been single attack, single attack, single attack. So I'm hoping that's what allowed us to get back in the game when we made our blunderous move, is the fact that he just had single attacks and his, his pieces weren't working together as a team. Got to reiterate it because that's the psychology that I will use and continue to use going through my games getting into the head of the player although it's actually the board but it's getting into the head of the patterns that's going on on the board and basically saying well okay this is the type of player they are you know a sneaky ninja or a sly fox or a rough bulldog just coming in and smashing places up you know 
or they're a magician, magician, a little bit tricky, or they're like a snake slithering through, you know what I mean? So different kinds of characters for different types of um, playing styles. So it's not a slant on the actual character of the person. I don't know these people, um, apart from the club players that I play against. But there's other characteristics as well, which we've worked in with the answers, like the key things that work in pieces together, that sort of thing. He's lost his rug. And it's all falling apart now. Okay, that was um, a tough, that really was. <laughs> Never mind the ratings, this time and the other. Yeah, very, very good game. Yes. There we go. So they've resigned. Yeah, analysis. Analysis helps us feel sleep at night. <laughs> okay, right, let's go. Okay, so we opened up and we worked through all these positions and talked through these situations. Just want to go through. Yeah, so it's all pretty samey samey here. See if there's any major dips in what we were doing. So they had like a, yeah, they had like a, a nice position here, looking to attack us. And then we thought, well, we're gonna just blast through now and spoil this. And that gauge bar just dropped. It dropped bigger than that before when we just did it. So minus one, minus one. So whatever it was that they needed to have done. And yeah, they should have done the on pass on thing. Yep. Yeah. But we were waiting for the on pass on. If they had if they had done then we would have, you know, tried to deal with it as best possible, bringing the bishop through or maybe the rook through. But the potential was, you know, we didn't really want their bishop and their, their king working together. So it's uh, minus one point one at the minute. Bishop has potentially more potential because it can attack this pawn here. But this is the type of thing that potentially they were looking at doing, but if they continue doing that, like it's showing here, plus point, blah, blah. Um, and that's even worse. So yeah, um, it's showing minus 1.9 though. So what, what's it showing here? A6, tacking the rook, okay, to maintain that um, aspect. So that's interesting because we could move up or we could move across. Yeah. So it's still maintaining defense of that area, but he's taken the bishop away from the potential attack. So I'm fairly comfortable with that. So we would have been ready to deal with if they had done. But small piece attacking the higher piece, ideally, we didn't want them to because it's blocking the bishop as well. And they didn't. So that fell into our work quite nicely. So now we're looking to trade down this queen. <clears throat> I just wanted to see <clears throat> if it frowned on the attempt. Plus 1.6. And then it dropped down to one plus 1. Really doesn't like um, queen exchanges. But it's decent. still at least it's a plus. Positionally feeling okay. But not really seeing what the opponent is attempting to do so we just flash through a check on the king and again at this point we said well might as well just defend this pawn because if anything kicks off this pawn is going to be attacked and I believe that was a, a bit of a blunder there and we brought the bishop back okay so massively yeah winning we talked through all of this, it felt really good, very concise, working on the character of the player, their playing style. Uh, that seemed to work for us quite nicely to get this lovely position here, because all these were single movements, single attacks, not really working. And as I mentioned, yeah, I'm not going to go here because the bishop's here like this, yeah. So I believe I should have been moving here, so that's what I was saying, blah, blah, blah. But then when I actually came to do the move, I should have stopped myself and got, and said, oh yeah, this is the move I'm making. 
so I went back to oh open file let's go and, and just do that and then the bishop took so that was a, a big big mistake of mine it's something that I was going to start mentioning about is um, the devil finger you know making all the beautiful calculations that you want uh, in your head and then you, your hand actually goes and makes a move that it wants to make of its own own choice and that was years ago when that was kicking in and I says well I need a system to get rid of that and I have which is the answer so I shouldn't be falling into that when I'm doing my narrative especially talking through blah blah and saying that's the move I'm not going to make but then I actually go and make that move that something needs to change there so that's a bit dark anyway so we did that and if you have a look at the um, gauge thing I, I know I'd messed it up somehow it's showing mating 8 from that actual capture it's showing mating 8 and I didn't do it I know there was something I could feel it but I didn't do it right you know we went for a long end game so the bishop back part was right that was right bishop h6 moving the bishop out of the way first ah oh, damn moving the bishop out of the way first because you know I've got the pin through here and then what are you going to do what are you going to do oh hurt me oh how bad is that but we didn't do that did we no and it's still made in here anyway but I I didn't do it right. Okay, mate five. I'm rubbish. Oh dear me. Was it? It wasn't even that. It can't be that. What do we have? Still got the pin through every time it was this bishop move wow that seems a little bit delicate for even playing a long play game crikey ah oh, moving the bishop that it doesn't make any sense to me but well i don't know because Maybe if he went and attacked here, what happens? Hmm. That's very delicate. My God, that's very delicate. I have to get my head around that one. I'll practice that offline yeah I'll get my head around that so yeah interesting game um, we'll continue with what we did just to check all the errors so we're back on track a little bit plus five oh, sh oh dear me look at that minus 16 this is oh oh it's awful look at that yeah well, Mate in nine. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Oh no, look at that. That's just horrendous. Mate in five. Oh. oh my days. God was bad as each other. Oof. It's nearly there. Oh, what a fight what a battle and then we were given a, a third chance in this game unbelievable ok so that's looking ok that's looking fine oh, we both had mating mating opportunities unbelievable battle that's the type of game that you need and yeah evaluation 
key I'm, I'm going back to that section with the bishop I need to get that type of pattern in my head for the concert that was quite nice well played 